Hey everybody, welcome into Letterman Row. I'm Austin Ward, joined by my good friend Zach Bourne, former Ohio State captain, talking about defense, Pickerington native as well. Oh, so make, maybe we'll get guy. you the extra juiced up right here. Devon Hamilton. My guy, man, this is a guy who has turned it on, right? Wisconsin game, he knew that was a big game for him. The big uglies up front that Wisconsin is known for, he dominated that game, and that's when you see Chase Young go off with all of his sacks. But in Chase Young's absence, you've seen a different side of Chase Young, or of, of Devon mm -hmm. Hamilton. You've seen him be able to rush the passer, get some sacks, and kind of fill in for, for where Chase Young is missing, yeah. right? And who would have thought they would have seen that from a nose guard that's 330 pounds, but he's showing off the quickness, he's showing off the pass rush he moves, and man, is he making a big difference. It's interesting. I think he was talking last week. He's had four sacks now in the last three games. He's making himself a ton of NFL money. Oh. I think he's playing like an All-American. And he was in there, he was asked uh, how to properly spell his name, because there was a capital V, and I'd been spelling it wrong yeah. for a lot of times. He never corrected it. And how to pronounce it, because some people, you know, were getting the Devon wrong, call him yep. Davon, because some of his teammates call him that. Yep. It's like, this is the end of his fifth year of senior career. He just hasn't been in the spotlight that much. Do you know what? He's a blue collar Pickerington guy, man. He's our <laughs> kind of guy, right? It, you know what? He's, he's a guy who shows up to work every single day. It's how he was in high school. Comes from a great family. He's a hard worker, just puts his nose down and really grinds. And I think you're seeing all of that work over the years come to fruition and you're seeing it pay off big time in a senior year. And it, hey, he is a cornerstone in this defense, right? He's a guy who's plugging up the middle. We talk about the linebackers all the time. We talk about Chase Young and guys on the edge, but it starts in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. The linebackers are running freely because Devon Hamilton and the other guys are taking up space and taking up those big bodies, and they're playing at such a high level. All right, Devon Hamilton's got it rolling. The Buckeyes will need him at his best on Saturday against Penn State. Zach's going to break down what is fueling his rise here down the stretch for the Buckeyes right now. Let's roll the tape. All right, Zach, Devon Hamilton, I mean, the last three weeks, the guy's been on an absolute tear. I don't, everybody talks about Chase Young. Well, Buckeyes didn't have him the last two weeks. The pass rush is fine. It's coming from the interior. I won't even want to say on a tear. He's been a monster the, <laughs> okay. the past couple weeks, right? This is a guy that, yes, he's playing on the interior. You don't see much from a big-time pass rush. The last time we saw a guy pull a move like this, probably Jonathan Hankins, right, was, was one of the best defense linemen in Ohio State history. Mm -hmm. You see Javon, or Devon Hamilton here. He's great off the ball, and that's something we've seen with his defense line all year. Their get-off on, on the snap is so good. They anticipate it. They're so good with their hands. When you're see from the from the back angle here, he uses a great rip, gets in, and gets a sack on the quarterback. And, and this move here, I, I know there's this debate. You you talked about Hankins. Yep. You saw Draymond Jones doing stuff I mean, like look this at on the that. inside. Look at that. I mean, that is so good with his hands. This offensive guard has no chance. He's ripping, getting a face max getting a hand to the face mask, and getting through it. Yeah, as we go on here, it's been four sacks in the last three games. You look at Hamilton, it's not just that you know he can do these pass rush moves. Sometimes you're just trying to absorb something and collapse the pocket, but I mean, this this is changes the game right here. It, it does, and, li and like you said, a lot of times you're right with these big guys on the inside. A lot of times, like you see right here, right, Cornell, he's taking on blockers. That's what these guys do, free up the linebackers. These guys on the inside, that's what they do. Their job is to two-gap, do not let the do not let the offense line get any uh get any drive down the field. Take up the blocks. Let these guys run free. But you're seeing Devon Hamilton. You're seeing these guys on the inside be able to make plays. And when you have that, just imagine when Chase Young gets back this week. <laughs> I mean, I was look, thinking about that when you spin this forward to look about how he prepares for Penn State. Sometimes you you look at these games. The last couple of years, it's been about the more mobile quarterbacks and Trace McSorley and running around. Like you don't always want these guys to be jumping out of their lanes, as you said, and you're yeah. trying to wait for them to maybe come to you, but it's not like he's doing anything out of the ordinary here. He's not. He has a great get-off. He uses his hands. He's he's seen what's going on, right? Sees the quarterback keep the ball, reacts to it, and guess what? Comes in here and makes a sack. And guess what? He's an athletic big man. How many times do you see that, right? <laughs> he's an athletic guy. He sees it, reacts to it, and comes in here and makes a sack. I believe this was the second play of the game against Maryland. Yeah, setting the tone. He, two sacks in that game was like, all right, well, they don't have Chase Young. It's It keeps coming up, Chase Young, Chase Young, Chase Young. But even when he's out there, you have Devon Hamilton and Jay Sean Cornell setting that tone on the inside and helping set him up for success. This is another one of those plays which is like, I mean, how is he? It's crazy how he's doing this. It, it is, and this looks exactly like that Rutgers play, but th th there's a couple things in common, right? You see his get off. You see how good he is with his hands, how he gets on the edge of the offensive guard and literally puts his head down, rips through, and this guy's got no chance. One of two things are going to happen. Either he's going to get a sack 
or this guy's going to get called for a holding penalty, right? And you don't see big guys, three techniques, nose guards. You don't see those kind of guys making these kind of plays. This is a athletic, uh, I mean, play for a big man. And look how quick he is getting. I mean, yo, know, Zach Harrison's a, Zach Harrison's a really five-star, really up, you know, he's got a bright side. You know, Tyreek Smith is a great break to, or upside, super quick. Devon Hamilton is is just as fast in the backfield as these guys are making these same plays. It's unbelievable what he's been doing the past couple of weeks. Yeah, what well, makes him makes him so scary? He's uh, he's making a lot of money too. Look at somebody fifth year senior. It, it didn't really emerge until late. We talked about that earlier on, but I mean this guy's playing like a, a first round NFL draft pick. And this is what I was yeah. talking about too, with just collapsing the pocket and standing your ground. Sometimes that's all he has yep. to do. And you, this is my favorite play. We we saved the best one for last. Yes, he looked great and athletic and re- used pass rush moves on on uh, on the previous plays. But this is a Wisconsin offensive line that are known for the big uglies up front. Devon Hamilton gets underneath his pads, puts both of his hands in 61's chest, and literally drives him back into the quarterback. This is what's going to make him millions here in the NFL, right? They, they know, hey, in the NFL, you're going to have the big uglies inside, taking up space, doing what you're supposed to do. But when you're able to be this strong and push an, an offensive guard, offensive center, all the way back into the quarterback's lap, three, four yards into the backfield, that is what's going to make him millions. And that's the thing that these offensive guards and, and centers are having trouble doing because we saw the quick move. We saw get to an edge and rip. Well, this is what they are so scared of because he is so strong and he's so big. They know that bull rush is coming. So if they don't sit and, and, and sit on this bull rush, guess what? That's when he's going to beat them with the edge. And here's the problem too, right? Got two guys going to get number two. You always do, right? <laughs> and guess what? Especially this side too, this guy, whoever it may be, Tyreek Smith, Zach Harrison, all those guys, Tyler Friday, all those guys that are playing well, guess what? They're going to start with the running back looking this way. And so these two guys on the inside are going to be one-on-one, and that's where these guys are going to start feasting. I would say three-on-three, three, that's the worst matchup any team in the oh country Oh, my gosh, especially against these three guys. It, I mean, <laughs> it, it's, it's like a cheat code, right? You're going to have to keep the running back in to help block – Whoever one of these guys get beat, because someone's going to get beat on a pass down, the running back's got to help, and guess what? Keeps more guys back here to either green dog on the back and bring an added blitzer, or guess what? More guys to sit there, and this quarterback's going to have a uh, hard time trying to complete a pass. All right, Ohio State's got that pass rush rolling, and even from the interior with Devon Hamilton, things are clicking. Zach Bourne breaking it down for us, as always, right here. Letterman Row, Buckeye Q. For Zach, I'm Austin Ward. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We've got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buck IQ with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State Athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.